Hey, 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 it's Adele from Let's Get Inky. Today we're doing a bit of a different video because I'm talking real time. And I recently bought a whole bunch of different stationery and painty goodies uh, from uh, several different websites. And so I thought we'd do a bit of a kind of like a buy it and try it, but like a, a dabbly kind of way. Uh, so if you know my main channel, Inky Quill, I have a series over there called Buy It and Try It where I do a little haul video and then do a process uh, creating some of the some things using the haul goodies and so it's a bit harder with some of the stationary things that I've bought so I thought we'd just kind of do an experimenty type video. So this journal is one that I'm working in uh, at the moment and it's a, a Jane Davenport one and it has very lovely paper and I started it as was this a hundred day project that failed I think it was yeah I think it was and so I was just kind of filling it with things that made me feel happy some quotes wasn't really sure what what exactly was going on in here did some Patreon printables and more quotes. That was another video I did with um, I drew my I drew my childhood um, like map of where I lived using inspiration from a book that I used to love. I've got random quotes. Oh, that's a video that is over on Patreon. And then oh, I've obviously not liked that page and stuck it together. <laughs> But yeah, there's just like a lot of random things in here. Um, oh, can you hear the wind? It's quite, quite windy out there. Uh, so anyway, this is just a, a bit of a play around journal. So some of the things that I got, what to start with. First up, let's go with these washi tapes. So uh, I bought some new washies from Stash World and I accidentally bought two of each of these didn't mean to but that's okay because I love them <laughs> uh, so these are from a brand called Nutmeg and Arlo I haven't heard of them before very cute little box and this washi tape has little rainbows all over it which I thought was a bit cute so let's stick some of that in there and then this one has paint I guess you call them paint swatches it's a bit what's that word is it to to Rezero, to terrero to to zero there's a word that describes this kind of pattern <laughs> it's a word that's escaping me right now um, but i just thought that would be really useful for both art journaling and scrapbooky pages and then a couple of skinnier ones too um, this is just a little dot pattern I've been loving skinnier washi tapes at the moment um, just to, to add in a little extra something oh that's pretty and then this one I'm really excited about because I have a similar one with little hearts on it um, and I've been using it a ton in my uh, most recent couch scrapping kit so where is the end there it is so yeah, let me know if you like this style of video for something a bit different because um, I was looking back at my channel before and I used to do a lot more like chatty face-to-face -face hauls and I haven't done them for ages so those are the washies that I've got to play with and then two spare ones which is always exciting and then I grabbed this little sticker that says shop small I just really liked liked him a little ghosty guy <laughs> and then I got some freebies which is always lovely so thank you very much stash world and then another free sticker too oh should I put that one in there yeah let's do it I've been getting into the the vinyl stickers recently I did another order with stash world um, a couple of weeks ago and got a ton of um, pip stick stickers which I'm pretty sure you will see in an a journal with me video yes you will see them I don't know if it's before or after this one um, but you will see it at some point and um, I also bought a lot of vinyl stickers for my MacBook however 
I'm not sure if my MacBook is on the fritz. <laughs> so I don't really want to cover it with my favourite stickers if I'm if I'm not going to use it. Alrighty, so next up I got a ton of goodies from Jet Pens. And Jet Pens is, hang on, let me get these out. Ah, no, that's falling out of there. Bom, bom. Ah! We lost one. Man overboard. Man overboard. Saved. All right. Push my chair back in. So I got um, a ton of things from, stay in there, Jet Pens. And I've ordered from them before. And my gosh, the shipping of Jet Pens. It was delivered by FedEx, which is not something that we have in Australia. But I paid, I think it was, I think it was almost $30 postage normally. And then Express might have been 40 And so I was like, and the normal postage said six to eight weeks. Um, and so I was like, Nah, let's do the extra 10 to get it here sooner. And it arrived in about three days, which is just ridiculous. Um, so I got a few different things here. Let's start with this. So I have been dabbling in, um, as you saw back over here, I've been dabbling in some like watercoloring and um, kind of like some urban sketching kind of landscape-y arting recently over on Patreon and I wanted to get a little um, kit together that I could put pencils and pens and just you know rubbers that's erasers that's what we call erasers here peeps we call them rubbers um, a sharpener all of the things that I would need if I was urban sketching and have them in a little pencil case and I don't really have smaller pencil cases like this. I only have um, bigger ones like like this one, which I keep all of my um, my pins on. So I don't really have anything just nice and compact. And I've wanted one of these for ages. It's the Deldi. <laughs> Deld. I don't know how to pronounce it. But you unzip it and it's stuffed at the moment full of packing and papers and things but essentially you put your pencils in it and then what you can do is pull these little bits down and it opens up like a little cup so you can just put it next to your spot so if I was to put these in here let's pretend I open up my pencil case I could just put it like that and they'd be sitting there in a little cup brilliant absolutely brilliant uh, so I got this one and I bought it in this denim color because the the bottoms what I would call like a dirty denim <laughs> and so I thought that there was a nice one that I liked that was paler but I thought if I'm going out and about and this is getting put on you know rock walls and grass it might be easier to have a pattern on the bottom that could disguise any marks that it might get. So, long ramble, got a pencil case. Uh, next up, let's do some pens. So I got a big bunch of pens, some I've had before, some which are new to me. Uh, first up, I needed some new Tombows because I have, this is my little stash of Tombow brush <laughs> markers, they're my favorite. And I've got three blacks currently. One of them is okay, the other two still work, but they're quite fluffy. So when I do uh, brush lettering, they just don't look fabulous and crisp. And so I just got two new ones. Oh yeah. There we go. Back in business. I do find that the Tombows do go feathery quite quickly compared to uh, some other brush markers that I've got, but I really like them for uh, my traveler's notebook. If you watch my journal with me videos, uh, they, I use them on every spread in there, so they're handy to have. 
Speaking of brush markers, the other one that I have just discovered and I'm now obsessed with is this Uni Pin Fine Line Water and Fade Proof Pigment Ink and it's the brush tip. This brush marker is my favourite small one. Originally my favourite were uh, these Tombow ones which are, there's one that has black there's a one that's black and grey, which is this one, and then there's another one, there's a couple that are just black, and they have two different types of tips, and these, the Tombow ones were always my favourite, but we have a new winner now, and it's just, it's the right amount of, um, you know, flexibility that you want in a brush marker, but not too much, and I'll give you a bit of a closer look at that focus there we go it just is to me the perfect 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 thickness so I've been using it a lot in my um, Hobonichi so I grabbed three of those because I don't know where to get them in Australia so I thought I'd get them while I was shopping I grabbed this now I'm pretty sure this color was called asparagus or something and if you peeps have watched me for any amount of time, you'll know green is my least favourite colour. Uh, I do have a couple of green brush markers. Not, not many though. I would say four. Yeah, I have four greens. And I find that they're all very bright greens because I do gravitate towards the bright colours more. Uh, and I thought if I'm doing a lot of landscapey things, it was about time that I added a more acid green <laughs> to my collection uh, so give this one a go it's actually like a I would call it a really nice kind of sage green um, so I don't don't mind that green <laughs> it's not my favorite it's no hot pink or turquoise but I don't I don't mind it all right other pens these ones are all the same uh, so these are the uni jet stream in the 0 0.5 and i use this for my productivity planner which i use a lot of days in the week not every day but a lot of days i also use this in my hobonichi um, which is like a commonplace book for me and i also use it in a new journal um, that i've been working with and i only have one and i keep losing it and it drives me nuts so i decided to get a bit of a bit of a stash of them and it's just they come in a lot of different um, thicknesses but I I like the 0 0.5 size I feel like it's my perfect Goldilocks it's not too big not too thin and it just it, it's a nice ballpoint pen so if you're in the market for a nice pen to just write with it's nothing fancy it just does the job but it does it well um, the uni jet stream is very nice I think they have different bodies for them that you can buy as well. Next up, I wanted to buy a couple of uh, pens that had waterproof ink so that I could use them with watercolours. And I found this one, which I've never heard of before. It's now, is it called a Deleter or a Delita or a Delta? <laughs> Neo. Pico line three and it's acid free pigment ink waterproof ink it says to keep horizontal which is interesting because I would not have seen that otherwise and I definitely would have stored it not horizontal um, this has like a felt tip um, tip to it and it's a lovely one it's a little bit thicker than what I'm used to not too much thicker um, but just just a little bit so that should be fun to to have a bit of a play with my urban sketching so far I do like this pen I haven't tried it with watercolors yet but that might happen today another one that was apparently waterproof I don't know I don't know, I don't know. We'll, we'll have to test it to really see is the uniball signo DX in the 0 0.38 size and the uniball signo um, broad gel pen is what I absolutely am obsessed with for white pens and so I thought hey 
We'll give this one a go. I should have written the names of the pens instead of just hello. Let's try that. Here we go. We'll go Uni All Signo DX 0.38. So yeah, that one writes really nicely. It's thinner than I'm used to. Um, so I kind of wanted to, you know, experiment with a few different thicknesses um, because urban sketching is something that I am completely new to and I don't know what I'd like yet. So might as well try out some, some different things. And then this one also came up and this is the Pentel Energel Permanent Gel Ink Metal Tip 0.5 and I've written with this one just as a little scribbly note and it is lovely it it um, it glides and I don't think any of these were expensive they um, to tell you the tooth I don't know but they would have only been about five dollars or so this is the 05 one and that's that's very lovely so if that is permanent gel ink as it claims i think this is going to be my favorite so there's some pens that i got uh, i also bought hmm, a little bit of watercolor so i do have i have this which is my it's a Gans Gunzai Tambi Kuritake, Kuritake. I'm really sorry with my pronunciation. If you've followed me for a long time, you'll know I'm terrible at pronouncing people's names and all sorts of things. Um, I get all jumbled up with my words. But I have these watercolours, which I've been absolutely loving, and they do have uh, some metallics down here at the bottom. But I, I wasn't loving... The metallics, I love all of the other colours, but the metallics just seem not very pigmented. Um, they're a bit of a soft metallic and kind of want to punch in your face metallic. And so I grabbed these. These are the Col Colero, Coolero, um, Pearl Colours, Gold and Silver, and they have lots of other uh, colour combinations as well, but I thought I'd just get the gold and let's give these a whirl so we've got tibet gold inca gold arabic gold gold pearl moon gold and sterling silver so we'll see what we think of these i might start we'll start with the gold one okay hang on i should I should spray these with water to wake them up but it's going to go with this all right Let's see, I haven't, oh, okay, that's lovely. Yeah, I do prefer that gold than my other watercolours. That, that is beautiful. I wonder how it splats. Let's see. Let's see, does it splat? Oh, it splats quite nicely. Quite nicely. All right, let's try. This is the Inca gold. This seems very similar, but slight difference in maybe this one's a bit more orangey. Maybe. That one's lovely too. I think I still prefer this gold so far. This one is Arabic gold, and I know I'm not using <laughs> the right brush for this, but we're going with what's on my desk. This one is lovely. This is very yellow, goldy colour. We have gold pearl. If I was using these um, on a project, I would probably spray them with my little water sprayer for a moment and then let them sit and soak up that water just to wake them up a little bit before I use them. But we can't show must go on and we can't wait for ages mr watercolor this one is the moon gold oh that's lovely that's kind of like a champagne -y gold color 
and then not sure if this one is going to come up much on the paper I can still kind of see it <laughs> this would be amazing on like a, a navy paint I think um, but yes oh these are uh, so far so good I very much I'm very much prefer those over the others and uh, next up we have this washi tape so this is by is it bandy band brand uh, actually I'm just gonna pause my camera because my memory card is doing all sorts of things all right we're back uh, so this one is actually a set of washi tape stickers which is very interesting to me Ooh, I think this is the type of one that you would want to keep in that plastic packaging because it looks like it would be very easy to crinkle them and so this seems to be a whole range of little sticker flakes that you can peel off supposedly <laughs> oh here we go <gasps> that is adorable oh oh I very much love this I think there were quite a few different ones of these these were a little pricey I think these were these may have been seven eight dollars possibly uh, and so I only got one of them to to try out but next jet pens order I am definitely buying some more of these these are quite possibly my favorite stationary thing that I've bought for a long time they are so perfect for journals they will be the perfect addition for um, my traveler's notebook because they're really nice and flat they're very easy to apply oh I really like these okay one more don't waste them all on one page Adil <laughs> these are the type of thing I'm going to be 100% honest with you I think I'm going to grab an extra pack so that I don't hoard them <laughs> because you still you get a fair amount on there you get a lot um, but as you can see I've just put five of them on one page and they're the type of thing I think once I start sticking <laughs> I'm going to want to stick them all so these are a hundred percent recommend uh, next up I was going to show you what's in here but it's just packaging next up I thought I'd try this now I don't actually know what it is it is Brilliant Gold Pearl X Powdered Pigment. And I think you can use it kind of like watercolour. Um, and so I did want to experiment a little bit with it um, and see, whoa, see what you can do. So I'm going to pop a bit on there. I don't know if this is the proper way to use it. We're just experimenting. And if I add some water... It activates the color so obviously you would use a bit more now should I probably shouldn't do that but I'm going to anyway <laughs> that is a beautiful gold color I think this would be a great addition to um, some journal pages if you wanted to add like a really soft gold touch to them whereas this gold I feel is a little more like pow I'm gold whereas this one's a bit more delicate so I am interested to have a bit more of a, a play with that one should I keep that in there I feel like I should I feel like maybe its purpose is to stop it going into the lid and getting stuck could be wrong could be wrong uh, I also grabbed these pens so these are the microns and the fine line set so there's uh, 0 0.2 millimeters, 0 0.25, 0 0.3, 0 0.35, 0 0.45, and 0 0.5. And these are apparently archival ink and they are waterproof, chemical resistant, fade resistant, bleed free, quick drying. I've had one of these before. Um, if you followed me for pre-kids time, I bought one off, 
think I bought one off eBay. I have a feeling it might have been a bit of a dodgy one. <laughs> uh, because, yeah, it just didn't... I don't think it, 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 set, it did what it was meant to. Uh, and I didn't like it at all. So I thought I'd give them another try. Because I can't judge the whole pen family on one dodgy pen. So let's see what these are like. So this is the Pigma Micron. Oh, that is thin, isn't it? That is very thin. Wow. Oh, I just put my hand in the gold. I knew that was going to happen. Uh, that is lovely. But gosh golly, that's thin. I think it would be something that I would have to get used to. <laughs> writing that thin, but I do... I do like it, so we're going slightly up in thickness. I might put the size next to them as well, so that I remember. Um, did I get these in the right? Oh, two. Let's see. They're a little bit scratchy. Um, but that might also be because I'm not used to like doing a lot in felt tips. I haven't used felt tips for quite a while. Zero three is probably what I'm more familiar with. I don't think I've ever had one that tiny. Um, oh, now we're getting thick. That would be a really good outline one, this one. And then the final one. Oh, big boy. <laughs> that is very thick. Quite like them. Okay, we'll give them a go. We'll, we shall see. We shall see. Uh, next up, let's do this one. Bit of a break from the pencils. I, I hope you like long rambly videos. This is just a nice video to pop in the background while you're doing something <laughs> or if you're organizing your, your art space or your craft room. Um, a nice little video to keep you company while you're doing that. I should have said that at the start of this video. Uh, this was pricey. This was about, I want to say $55. It was, <laughs> it was quite a bit. Australian dollars, I think. Or no, that's 55 US, and then it works out as like 80 Australian dollars. Uh, this is by a brand that is not on here. Hmm. Oh, it's Midori. There we go. It's Midori. And it is a five-year, um, like a fill-in-the-day planner, and or journal, I should say. And so the idea is that you start on um, the first of the first 20 whatever, 2022, and you write a little bit about either what happened that day, or you could use this journal in any way you want. You could write about, um, you know, a, a quote that you like from that time, or you could do anything, really, what you had for food that day. Uh, and it goes through and then every year, so for 2022 you fill in all the top boxes and then 2023 you fill in the next and so forth. And I bought one of these a while ago but I started it um, at a really frantic time of my life. Um, this is, might have been when I was pregnant with Arch possibly and I shouldn't have started it then because I was I was not in the headspace to, <laughs> to keep up a daily, you know, to do thing like that uh, but I'm I'm tempted to start it now because there's nothing stopping me starting it right now um, but I don't know if maybe I should oh there's a little bookmark too I don't know if maybe I should wait until the start of the new year let me know in the comments do you think I should start it now or do you think it would be a more fun experience to have five full years um, from the beginning in there let me know your thoughts but this is beautiful and it's got a cover on it I'm going to take out this red bit if I can work out I'll do that off camera um, but it's got this beautiful beautiful 
thick embroidery all over it and I like that it looked like a an old style book um, too and then the other thing that I got from Jet Pens oh I got this random pencil as well which I'll have a look at in a minute um, but I got their drawing set so the thing that I really love with Jet Pens and this is not sponsored they have no idea who I am I paid full price I just wanted to show you some cool stuff because I love watching stationary hauls and you know they make me feel happy um, and so I thought my fellow stationary lovers would would enjoy uh, but the thing that I really like is they have these little packs where you get a selection of um, supplies for a specific purpose so it might be a black ballpoint pen pack and it gives you a range of like eight different ballpoint pens to try or it could be a brush lettering pack or even colors like they have a pink pen pack so you get all different pink pens and I think that is so so fun um, I was tempted to buy the turquoise pens but I didn't uh, instead I bought the drawing pack which I think was about might have been about $30 or so US and you get a whole range of um, pencils which is lovely I'm not going to sharpen and try them all on this video because I feel like pencils yes they, they are different but it's not as easy to to tell with pens um, but we will just let's just do a little very basic flower oh yeah that's a HB that's a very HB HB mm, that's a that's a it's a choice that's a Stadler Wopex never tried that one before here is another Stadler. This is a, another HB. I'm more of a 2B gal, um, which there aren't any 2Bs in this particular collection, which is why I bought this one separately. <laughs> do I have a sharpener nearby? Oh, actually, I do have a sharpener. This came in the pack as well. So this is a sharpener that apparently you can choose how close... Um, it sharpens which I thought was a nifty idea I'm probably oh and there's it's closed okay let's give this a try let's go on three seems like a good halfway point oh that's squeaky that that is quite squeaky <laughs> very nice sharpener that's I think that's a great idea to um to see how um sh close you want the sharpening to be yeah I'm much more of a 2b gal but um hbs are a little bit harder 2bs are softer and I'm going to try and find my love of hbs because I think they're easier for drawing because you can rub them out a bit easier than a 2b um, so I got those and then also in that same pack is this thing <laughs> what is it we will soon find out it's a pencil sharpener yes it's a pencil sharpener so you got two pencil sharpeners in the same set Ooh, how does it work okay that's how you take it out coolies but how do you how do you open it oh okay just like that <coughs> okay we'll give this one a go it's cool that you can see through it <laughs> I feel like the green thing down the bottom ah so that's how you can change how sharp you want it okay let's try this one that is a lovely pencil oh what's that one that is the Tombow Mono 100 HB highest quality this is a lovely pencil there we go let me know if you would like a test of the pencils I'll do it over on um, an insta story uh, and these were really sweet I've never seen anything like this before but it makes sense these are pencil covers 
so you can put your pencil in and it doesn't break in your pencil case. I think that's genius. They may be a little bit too high <laughs> for my pencil case, which defeats the purpose of the pencil case, but still, we will put them on once the pencils get shorter. But I just thought that was very, very clever. They, if you are looking for them separately, are Ipo, Ipo, Tombow. They're Tombow. There we go. Tombow are, uh, they have some good stuff. Then in that pack as well came a little eraser, as we call them in Australia, rubbers. <laughs> I just always have to preface that fact. Just like when I say in a scrapbooking video that I was wearing thongs, I meant I was wearing flip-flops because we have different names for things here. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's see how this rubber goes. This is the boxy rubber. Ooh, she's flexible. She's wobbling around everywhere. But you can still see it a little bit. It does rub out pretty good. Yeah, I rate that rubber. That's a nice one. And then I think that was all from Jet Pens. Ooh. Another fun, exciting thing is that I got some more paintbrushes and I have another pack of these coming today. I bought a, like a gouache, who packages with these things? Uh, I got a gouache set and a watercolour set. Um, so this is the Maya Himi brand and they were from Amazon. Um, they were a great price. I think they were about 20, maybe $20, maybe less than that actually. And there's a nice range of tips on those. And I bought them with the purpose of using them with, if you watched my Insta stories, you would have already seen this. Hang on, I need to, need to zoom you out a bit for this one. Whoop. I bought them to use with this, I've got my hair all, <laughs> all over it, with this gouache set that I got um, by this brand. However, I have, to, I have to get cranky for a moment because it's incredible. I was very excited. It was about, I want to say it was about $78 Australian. Oh no, is that Australian or is that American? No Australian, I've got it off um, Australian Amazon. And it arrived broken, which really annoyed me. You can see down here it's missing a chunk of the corner and this little paint canister has been um, sliced open and the paint has all dried inside there and it's splurting out and it was broken before it was put in the box because this bit of missing plastic was not in the packaging um, with it and the box that it came in wasn't damaged in any way so they've packed it broken <laughs> which is very very frustrating because i'm sure i could just add some water and reactivate that but i'll have to find a different little container to put it in which is frustrating and I haven't opened any of these yet because I want to make sure that it's still airtight um, which I think this foamy bit would help make sure that it stay the rest of them stay airtight what do you peeps think I yeah I don't know and this is already like this is snapped all up here <sighs> so I don't know if I can be bothered to return it um, I've never returned anything to Amazon before um, or if they're all broken <laughs> because I, I did read in the reviews two people said theirs arrived broken before I bought it and I thought ah oh, that's only two people you know things happen in the postal process but now I've got mine broken and I'm like well were theirs broken before they got it before it got packed as well um, but I really want to start using these little gouache paints because they're just so vibrant and the bottom has a hole in it which means that the whole container itself isn't airtight but I think when you put this on 
you can see the little foam the little canisters kind of sink into the foam which I think creates the airtight seal that they need so I don't know if I should just open them all up try for the best see if they stay airtight all good and then just decant that one into a different pot um, or I could try and seal it up maybe with like duct tape or something uh, but yeah let me know let me know your thoughts on this but I think that's the end of the haul so I hope you've enjoyed this video something a bit different a bit extra a bit random uh, these are all things that I've accumulated over the last like month or so uh, and I had been waiting every every month I focus on a different like crafty thing um, to to purchase to for my stash so one month I might spend $150 on printer ink because my printer chews through ink like there's no tomorrow and then the next month I might focus on getting you know a couple of hundred dollars worth of photos printed um, and then the next month I'll focus on buying some new paper for scrapbooking and then the next month will be something like this which I call my my arty supplies uh, so I don't do this amount of shopping all of the time it's just that this month was the focus on building up some art supplies to use um, for some videos for your peeps all right guys I'm gonna go stare at these for a bit longer because I don't know what to do with them <laughs> and I hope you have a wonderful day uh, let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this and if you would like these types of videos in the future as well uh, and if you want to see any more of my urban sketching adventures with a lot of the supplies um, from today's video you can head over to my patreon or my instagram page i'll be sharing a bit there too and i'll see you in the next video don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it it helps my channel out bye